Hello guys, welcome to Tech Edge channel. First, we'll be discussing about tension test. First, in the tension test, we you have to write the aim apparatus procedure. Now, let's discuss about how to write the tabular column and how to fill it. In the tabular column consists of serial number, loading, deformation, stress, strain, and X modulus. That is E. Modulus of elasticity. In the experiment, you have to take the readings. You can take up to 5 readings or 10 readings. That will mainly depend upon your examiner, external examiner. So, suppose if I take an example of, if I am taking loading of 10 kN, that uh, I will be getting the deformation as 2. For 20 kN, I will be getting deformation as 4. For 30 kN, 6. For 40 kN, I will be getting 8. So like that, for example, uh, it will be continuing for 50 kN, I'll be getting 11. For 60 kN, I'll be getting 13. For 70 kN, I'll be getting 16. Same thing like that. For 80 kN, I'll be getting 20. For 90 kN, I'll be getting 26. For 100 kN, sorry, for 10 kN, I'll be getting 100. So, I have taken the deformation from the experiment or from the UTM, Universal Testing Machine. So, I will be, uh, be converting it into mm, that is multiply with 0 0.01. So, in the mm, I will be getting as 0 0.02, 0 0.04, 0 0.06, 0 0.08, 0 0.11, 0 0.13, 0 0.16, 0 0.20, 0 0.26 and 1. Next, I'll be uh, showing how to calculate the stress. Stress that is sigma is equal to P by A. P means load that is load acting. We also know that area is equal to pi by 4 d square. In from the observation, we'll be uh, know that the diameter, original diameter D is equal to 14 mm. That is shown there. That is 14 mm. So, next we have to calculate the area value. So, formula will be substituting pi by 4 into 14 square. In uh, From the calculator, we will be getting that pi by 4 d square is equal to. See, let's how to calculate pi by 4 d square. So, we will be getting 153.9. Approximately, we can take it as 154.00 mm square. This is the area value. Next, after that, we will be substituting. Sigma is equal to P by A. That is, uh, first experiment we will be conduct, uh, considering that 10 kN. 10 into 10 to the power of 3 divided by 154. So, by calculating that, we will be getting 64.9 Newton per mm square. This is the value for first reading. So, same like that we will be making for second one also. So, for that we will be getting 129.9. For example, same like that only, 20 kN, that is 20 into 10 to the power of 3 divided by 0 0.04. For that, we will be getting the value as 129.9. Same like that for third one also. 30 kN, that is 30 into 10 to the power of 3 divided by 0 0.06, we will be getting as 194.8. Same thing I will be doing for every reading. For fourth one, I will be getting as 259.8 for fifth one i'll be getting as 324.8 for sixth one i'll be getting as 339.8 for seventh reading i'll be getting as 464.7 for eighth reading i'll be getting as 519.6 for ninth one that is 584.6 don't make confusion for tenth one it is 6 649.6 next we'll be finding the value of strain for strain we'll be having the formula epsilon is equal to change in length divided by original length original length we'll be knowing as 70 mm so we'll be finding strain value for first trading First reading will be having the value of origin, uh, change in length that is 0 0.02 uh, 
0.02 divided by 70 we'll be getting as 2.8 into 10 to the power of minus 4 that we can also write as 0.00028 so for first reading we'll be getting 0.00028 for again same thing like that only for second reading we will be making as we will be considering 0 0.04 divided by 70 that we will be getting as 0 0.00057 for third reading 0 0.06 divided by 70 we will be getting 0 0.00085 for fourth reading 0 0.08 divided by 70 0 0.00114 so for like that same reading I'll be doing, I'll be getting 0 0.00157, 0 0.00185, 0 0.00225 and 0 0.00285 and 0 0.00371 and last I'll be getting as 0 0.01428. Next, I have to find the value of Young's modulus that is modulus of elasticity capital E. For that, for formula is equal to capital E is equal to stress by strain. Stress also we we'll, we have been calculated. Strain also we have been calculated. We have to divide each other. That is 64.9 divided by 0 0.00028. That is uh, you have to consider uh, 0 0.028. That's all. I mean. You have to multiply by 1000 because uh, you will be getting as it will be coming under Newton per mm square. So you have to make it as Newton per mm square. So you will be getting 231 into 10 to the power of 3. So you have to uh, reduce that and you will be writing as 231.7 Newton per m meter square. That is Pascal also. For first value we will be getting 231.7. For second one, we will be getting 227.8. For third one, we will be getting 229.1. For fourth one, I will be getting 227.8. Same thing for fifth one also, I will be getting 206.8. For sixth one, 183.6. For seventh one, 203.8. For eighth one, 182.3. For ninth one, 157.5. For tenth one, 45.4. So at last I have to calculate, uh, I have to add all the 10 values and divide by 10. At lastly I will be getting as 189.58. You have to add everything, I mean each indi each individual Young's modulus and you have to divide, by, divide it by 10. So you will be getting around 189.58. This is your final answer. So this much you have to write down. Later on you have to write the final conclusion. This completes your tension test.